Okay, we're going to get into exercise 9. This exercise, we're going to create a simple structural column. Okay, let's begin. From the, the, the properties, I mean, I'm sorry, from, the, from this, this screen view here, we want to go down to where it says families, create no. Now we're going into this dialog box here, and these are all our family templates. So, of course, since we're doing a column, we want to find the structural column template. And there we have it. So, open this template. Okay. Should be opening up. Oh, jeez. Can't slow down. Things must be recorded. Okay. Now, here in this template, we have predefined values here. Uh, and, you know, this is kind of how you're going to open a, a template when you get a generic template or a family's template. So, to start out, we want to just begin by creating this similar to the box. But in this case, we're going to use a blend. We want to have a little more flexibility. So, this is going to be a new. Uh, Boolean that we'll be using here. So here we'll go and just sketch the lines in. Our sketch lines. Okay. And once we have the lines in, we want to align and lock them. We always want to do this. So we want to lock that one to that plane. That line to that plane. This line to this plane. There's a lot easier way to do this, so we'll do it next, this line to this plane. And we'll lock it down. Okay. So now, we want to go to the top, since we're using a blend. A blend. We want to just go and do a little shortcut here. You could do this on the bottom and just go create a box. Close it and lock each one of these in. Okay, then we hit the finish tool. Okay, so now we have our our basic column. But now what we want to do here is we want to add some parameters so we can flex this thing here and there. So what we want to do, we're on the lower level, which is fine. We want to go in here where it says annotate, align dimension. Okay two feet here and there's actually defaulted as two feet here. How do you create a parameter? You click on the dimension line and where it says label we want to add parameter. In this case we're going to call this one with we want to be a type parameter we want to say okay. This one here we want to go in, same again, add label, I mean add parameter, label add parameter, we'll call this depth, type parameter, okay. So now you have width and depth here, and now let's go look in a front view to get the height. Now here is the height, so to get the height we want to just go and align this to this uh, upper reference level. In the case of a column, we're always going to have an upper and a lower reference level. Okay, we want to align and lock it. Okay, now let's go to the 3D view. Okay, there's our column. Now we have one more thing to do here, and that's going to be to assign a material. So we move that over there out of the way, and we'll go hit the builder block here. And then we'll say, we'll just go OK here and we'll have it as a structural material. So we go back up here into the type selector and we'll have material by category which is what we want. Okay, so now we have our column made. So now that's what we want to do now is we want to just go into a project, a simple project. No, I'm sorry, first of all we want to create a type because we want to do at least four or five types for practice. So here we want to go in the type selector and right here where it says new we want to call this our type 
two by two foot. Let's just go two. Let's go two by two. Let's make it easy. That's a two foot by two foot column. And we'll say OK. OK. Now we want to make a new type. I tell you what, we'll do this in the model. Let's this let's do this so we can get some practice on duplicating things. So we'll say OK. So we got a column and it's two by two. That's the type. So what we want to do now is we want to go and open a project and let's test this guy out here. So go new project. It doesn't really matter what template we use, but let's use a structural template. Hit OK. Now I want to window tile back to that zoom zip zoom all. And I'm going to window tile back to the column. Let's make it a full screen. And you want to load this into our project. Now, we want to place our column here. And we want to put one there. And let's just add one here. Just say three columns. Now, let's go have a look in the 3D view. Oh, now, so, well, let's just get this wireframe out of here and get a better look. Okay. So we have our 3D our columns in our 3D view. Now, how we want to change types is very simple. Say so we'll take this one, and here in the Edit Type Selector, we'll go here, and we want to duplicate just like we do everything else. So let's duplicate this, and let's call it four by four. Hit OK. You can even go as far as saying 4 by 4 column, then change the value to 4 by 4. Hit OK. So there's our 4 by 4 column. Let's take this column. Let's edit the type. So now we got two types in the type selector. So let's duplicate this one and let's make him a 3 by. I don't really care what you use as far as the types. Let's make this a 3 by 2. Okay. Change the value here to 3 by 2. So you have three different type of columns. So that's just basically how you create a column and change the column type. So in the next video, we'll look at adding details. So do about five of these types, email them back to me, and we'll move on. But anyway, way to go. It's very simple.